as Imam al awzai said, that whomsoever conceals from us his bid'ah, he cannot hide from us his companionship. Uqba bin Alqama, Uqba bin Alqama said, and this narration that was collected in Tariqh Dimashq, he said that I was with, this is Uqba, he said I was with Arta'a ibn al Mundir. And someone in the gathering said, in that gathering with Arta'a ibn al Mundir and whoever else was sitting there, they said, What do you say about a man who sits with Ahlul Sunnah and mixes with them? But when Ahlul Bid'ah are mentioned and criticized, he says, Don't withhold from speaking about them in front of us and leave off mentioning them. So Arta'a said, He's from them. And do not be deceived by his affair. So Uqba said, I didn't like what Arta'a has said. I didn't like what he said. So I rebuked it. So then I went to Imam al awzai Rahimahullah, who died in the year 157. And he said, I went to awzai and he knew how to unravel and uncover these matters. So when I conveyed to him, if when I conveyed to him, he said to me, Indeed, Arta'a ibn al Mundir has spoken the truth. And it is, is, and it is, as he has said, a person, a person forbids that Ahlul Bid'ah be mentioned, meaning that they be criticized. And when will he then, or when? will they then be warned against if they are not even allowed to be mentioned? Meaning that we are sitting in the gathering of Ahlul Sunnah. So I mentioned the Mubtadi'a. So, ya akhi, just, khalas. Leave them alone. Ya akhi, let's talk about ibadah. Let's talk about tahajjud. Let's talk about dhikr of Allah. Say, what's your problem? Yes, akhi, just leave off naming names. Leave off mentioning Sayyid Qutub and Hassan al-Banna and Maududi and Hajuri and Ma'rabi and... You know, leave off. Forget it, ya akhi. We don't need to mention these names. So if in the gathering of Ahlul Sunnah, a person feels a tightness in his chest that the Mubtadi'a are being refuted. If that's how you feel, that tightness in your chest, in the gathering of Ahlul Sunnah, Then what are you going to do when they're warned against? Meaning in front of the people. When are they going? If you feel a constriction in your heart in the gathering of the people of Sunnah, then how are they going to be warned against in public? How do we warn against the likes of Ma'bad al-Juhani, Jahan bin Safwan, Abdullah bin Kullab? How do we warn against them? Amr bin Ubaid, al Mu'tazali. So you find a constriction in your heart. We're just sitting, six or seven of us. And you say, Ya I'm not, you know, Wallahi, I just feel in my heart. What do you feel in your heart? What do you feel in your heart? About the bid'ah that Allah's Messenger وسلم, warned against and the mubtadi'ah that he warned against by name. And he would name them, and the Sahaba would name them, and, the, and their names would be mentioned in front of the Sahaba. So why do you feel, where, where did you get this piety from that the Salaf didn't have? And that's why Imam al he said what he said, that Arta'a ibn Mundir was correct. And that's why you find even scholars like the likes of Imam al-Darimi mentioning them by name. Bishr al-Marisi, by name. Jaham, by name. Ibn Kullab, by name. Al-Muhasabi, by name. Al-Karabisi, by name. Yaqub bin Shayba, by name. Name, they would, they would name them. So where did you get your piety from? You're more pious than them? You're more pious than Ad-Darmi? Then Ahmed ibn Hanbal? Then Ibn Batta? Where did you get this piety from? 
that they didn't have. They are to be mentioned because it is from the sunnah of Allah's Messenger وسلم, to warn against Munkar by description and by name. Barakallahu feekum. And upon that note, we'll finish insha'Allah. But know for a surety, as Imam al Awza'i said, that whomsoever conceals from us his bid'ah, he cannot hide from us his companionship. So people keep asking me about these names. You know, someone, uh, Uthman Farooq from America, or Abu Faymiya, Taymiya, whatever, from the UK. I said, listen, all you have to do is look where he is. Sufficient that a person may conceal his bid'ah from us, even though his bid'ah is open in defense of the mubtadi'ah. But even if a person was to conceal his bid'ah, you cannot conceal your friendships.